we're back. Right. Um, let's see what we were up to. Um, I believe we failed to beat New Granada and then strategically reload it because I'm a safe scummer like that. And we're just going to um, get back to doing whatever it is we needed to do to uh, get Brazil to become economically dominant. Yes, yes. Um, right, so maybe instead of New Granada we can pop it to Uruguay. It doesn't say France will definitely join it. So let's hope for the best. Um, what else can we do? We have quite a lot of positive balance, so let's uh, upgrade our production. We will just uh, go ahead and build uh, a construction sector there. And what else do we have going on? Low market access, well that's not good. Um, da -da 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 -dum. Let's get some infrastructure. Yes, as we know about all the isolated state regions, that's what we've got all those ports for. France sided with Uruguay, of course they did. Um, hopefully at least uh, against Uruguay we can successfully manage to... Uh, well, beat them despite f France helping them out. Uh, we will of course want to have our lovely conscripts because France is big and scary and um, let's see let's, uh, what do we have here defensive strategists defensive strategist okay doesn't really matter that much I suppose we'll just send one over there one over there and we'll raid convoy there and we're gonna s see what's happening for a bit and maybe yeah and France is already sending troops there so we're going to ask some friends to help us out do you want Great Britain or the US well we can't have the US help apparently so I guess we'll be asking Great Britain to help us out can we get no can't get anything from them by promising s something from France or offer ob obligation and then, uh, hey, we got some colonies done. Lovely stuff. Uh, we have a free government reform. We should probably do something with that. Um, what did we want? We are currently going for public schools. That is trade unions, intelligentsia, and industrialists. Um, well, I suppose the highest legitimacy option does have all except for the trade unions and those are not a relevant thing in our country so we'll just go with that and there we have our british friends huzzah britain wants a defensive pact with us that sounds lovely to me i'm thinking we may want to try to push for getting french guiana Oh, oh dear. What do we have here? We have New Granada helping them out. Well, that could be interesting if we can get a puppet on them that would help a lot. What do what do other countries want? Um Let's try it. Uh, we'll wait until the diplomatic plays close to the end to hopefully avoid going over our influence thingamajig. Um, well, given that France hates us, we'll I'm just going to rival them back, stop improving relations, improve that infamy decay. And uh, let's see, how's our infamy looking now? <laughs> it's not looking any better. Oh well, we'll just uh, add the puppet, new Granada. Let's hope for the best. Uh, yeah, still can't get anything 
with the US and now because of this the Netherlands wouldn't want to join us either. Not that they'd be able to help much. Uh, French guys showing up in two days, so we'll just set them to defense and they're not going to be able to break through the French anyway. Um, apparently we forgot to change our production method at some point, I suppose, but too late to do anything about it now. I'll just, uh... Keep letting the game go. And hopefully not completely get crushed by the French. I'm just hoping the British will do a good job uh, raiding the French convoys as long as uh, we can manage to have the British not or the French not have supplies then we'll be fine. Um, Customs Union, that is um, certainly a thing. Uh, not really what I was hoping for, but I suppose we do owe them an obligation, so I guess for now, for the time being, we'll accept this. Might actually, uh, you know, help a little bit with... Uh, Getting some goods. Let's see, what do we have going on? Lowering consumption prices. Iron, coal, and steel need to be cheap. I have a level 2 motor industries. Alright. I think these are things we can work on. Uh, level 2 that. And um, let's uh, expand our steel mills. Now um, requires 30 infrastructure, that is not something this state can support, so we'll also get some extra railways. Um, where were we building that motor industry? Should, pro should probably check whether that place is capable of supporting it with its infrastructure. They'll be fine. They will be fine. Um, How is our war going? Um, very poorly. I see. We are suffering from a unfortunate case of French people helping Uruguay. That is that is a problem. And uh, that's a lot of troops as well. Jesus, France. Why do you hate me so much? Alright, so we'll raid there. And uh, set this guy to defend the front as soon as the game will let me. Um, not great. Not great at all. I don't think there's that much we can currently do. I'll just uh, hope this uh, raiding convoy is going to help in some way. Probably isn't. Um, so where are the British? Are they even helping us anywhere? Let's have a look at our fronts. 24 Brits there. And... Um, oh, and okay, so... They're, they're all here, basically. Well, at least the French uh, troops here are not doing too great. Maybe... Maybe we should set them back to attacking. Yes, look at that. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, our convoy rating is working at least. Um, what about uh, over here? We desperately need to push them out of our land, otherwise we'll just lose based on the ticking war score. Uh, well, actually, we are 
currently building it up more slowly than Uruguay is. That is positive. Um, A small conspiracy. Let's see. Um, I don't think we currently want to piss off the landowners. Certainly not while we are at war. Well, speaking of uh, those kinds of things, we should probably uh, consider changing around some systems. Um, Let's have a look. What can we do? What would we like to change? Laissez faire is, of course, always good. We'll radicalize the landowners. This is, of course, what we really want. We want to abolish slavery. But I'd rather not radicalize the landowners during a war. Um. Mm hmm. -hmm. Let's go for something that won't piss off the landowners until uh, this whole war thing is over, at least. Alright, that's looking good. That's looking good as well. That is very nice. We got new Granada. And our war score is... Or rather, our war exhaustion is... Not terrible. Uh, we got French Guiana occupied, so that's one less front that we need to worry about. The French are completely out of supply. Well, looks like we've won this war. Alright, there we go. Um, yeah, we did our research. What were we working on in terms of research? I am not quite sure. Um... I suppose we'll just go with some stuff to help make our people smarter. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Speaking of which, to the institutions. And it looks like we'll need some more bureaucracy to um, be able to get some more institutions. So let's get some more government administration. Uh, let's build one in every place with over 15k. How much do we actually get in terms of bureaucracy? 50 per level. Okay, so that shall, should help us out quite a bit. Enough to get some extra education, law enforcement. Uh, we'll just need to bring uh, a couple of them to the top. And, um, right, so France wants to humiliate us still. Um, but we don't seem to have any sort of active front, so I guess not much we can do regarding this right now. We'll just, um, well, maybe we could do a naval invasion somewhere. Let's do some random naval invasions. Uh, right, our economy is not looking too wonderful right now. Uh, let's add a consumption tax and well, let's just run on very high taxes until the war is over. Once the war is over, our conscription will end and then everything. Oh dear, Britain. Britain! Britain! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no, Britain. What are you doing? Um, Alright. Let's see. Let's get ourselves a extra general and see if we can help out the Brits. Uh, right, that was a thing that was fixed, so... Uh, <coughs> I mean, I wasn't trying to use an exploit to... Uh, quickly get so well okay never mind uh, UK is out of the war what's going on here um, I, I suppose uh, we're not going to 
get involved because uh, we want our conscripts to go home and not be part of everything going on. Um, yeah, we'll just uh, do some more naval invasions to hopefully get uh, France to white peace. Our uh, tools are expensive. We should probably do something about that at some point. Uh, what is our success chance is pretty low. Let's uh, do something about that. How many tools workshops can we uh, reasonably do? Well, a lot. Let's go with 15 extra. Oh, we don't actually have that many peasants. Let's go with five extra. And <laughs> Uh, that would give us 10 extra infrastructure usage, so let's add an extra railway there. Um, can't get any more gold mines. Well, I will declare neutrality on that. Can we get any more uh, colonies around the world? What, what did we research? We got, we got quinine, so that should mean we can get colonies in those places. I imagine our rate of colonizing will be quite slow. Could be worse. How many colonies do we even have? Quite a lot, I imagine. Since I did kind of try to colonize every single island simultaneously. Uh, what can we naval invade? The Indian Ocean Territory. Pedro isn't doing anything. Go, Pedro. Go invade the places. How is our... We're at minus six. Um, we are building one port. Is that the amount of ports we need? We are missing more than one port. This is going to be built in Western Australia. Kenya gets a port. Togo gets a port. Niger Delta. That's a big one. That's got a lot of peasants. South Cameroon, also a big one. I think the other ones should be... Actually, Togo has quite a few people too. Um... How, how is Brazil and Kenya doing in terms of people? That one does not have a lot of people, so that's not a priority. Um, Alright, so what can we naval invade? Uh, Pondicherry probably doesn't have any people. I imagine the rest of the places might have some brigades defending them, so we're not going to bother. Why is... Alright, Austria-Hungary is always yellow, isn't it? I'm just so used to seeing Austria rather than Austria-Hungary. That is, uh, that's precious color. Hey, we finished colonizing the Solomon Islands. Oh, and we can get our white piece. Nice. Um, hopefully that means our economy will recover. Oh, that doesn't look much like a recovering of our finances. Um, New Granada, no. Right, so how do we uh, how do we fix this? How do we our fix our balance? What are we even spending it on? Mostly government wages, and of course there's the construction goods. Um, so what I'm thinking is that what we really want to accomplish is to lower the prices of our goods. That seems like a thing. Of course, we also would benefit a lot from having a better economic system, but then we're back to the whole landowners thing. I guess if we are going to piss off the landowners anyway, we might as well go for the uh, banning of slavery. 
not at war anymore, so in a bit less of a precarious position. Um, what is our most expensive construction goods? Tools are ludicrously expensive. Fabric is fine. Wood is fine. Iron is okay. I guess uh, the tool situation is something we are going to want to fix, which we did already plan some construction for. Um, I suppose maybe we'll want to uh, prioritize it. Uh, we do want to finish those things that are almost done. Um, And there are, I would like to further improve the institutions, but I suppose with our current finances, we probably should be more concerned about improving our finances than our poor people's <laughs> chances of surviving, as unfortunate as that is. We can get more interest, cool. Um, I suppose uh, this would be a place that lets us colonize more, so might as well. Um, yeah, we'll just uh, go for that. And we'll build some ports. Are you actually going to like be able to get anywhere with those colonies? I don't think we are. <laughs> um, this is in Gambia. This, well, who knows? We might be able to sneak into some extra places. Um. Let's see. I don't think negative authority is too problematic. I mean, the angry people are already angry, so whatever. Um, th right. We can get more popularity for this man. Or we can have the intelligentsia like us even more. They already like us a lot, so let's make that man more popular. And we're at the point where we are expanding our tooling workshops. Good. Mm, we are really going to need to get even more tooling workshops, aren't we? Uh, let's see. Sao Paulo has some already, so let's expand those. Honestly, let's just get a fourth one as well. Alright, uh, central banking should help us with our finances, so let's grab that. This is uh, looking quite terrible, but... At least, you know, without the construction goods we are actually still fine. Oh, we got our slavery abolished without any sort of... Uh, complete collapse of society, so that is nice. Um, Alright, let's uh, try to get to laissez-faire. Pissing off the rural folk is not ideal. But... Let's see if it uh, causes any issues for us. What is this? The British Liberal... V well, that's uh, not great. That's not great at all. Um, is this going to cause issues for market access? Not yet. It might at some point. Uh, I mean, I, I guess we'll... Uh, 
sends our generals over to help our buddy. Do want Britain to be fine so that uh, our finances aren't ruined even more than they need to be. Yes, yes. Um, so clippers and iron are currently expensive. So maybe we should do something about those things. We can do something about iron, I think. Let's get like 20 more iron mines if we can. Oh, uh, six, 11, 15, 19, 20. That should be fine. Um, clippers. Do we want to build more clippers? I feel like probably a lot of that consumption is just on the bridges side of things. Um, who, who was, who is going to step down? Uh, Pedro, we want him to step down. He is our expert defensive strategist. Um, are our forces upset? Not particularly. It'll be fine. Looks like this war in Britain is fine too. Uh. I like the idea of just getting more permanent prestige. I like permanent modifiers, so I'm just going to go for that. Even though probably just boosting our enactment chance would probably help. Um, the Americans want to take over our debt. That I mean, don't we already owe them an obligation, or did the obligation? I don't know. Looks like obligation expired. Um, I mean, ca can they do much with the obligation? I don't think so, so we might as well let them. I think that'll be fine. Uh, let's see. I'm currently working on arms industry. Okay, that's that's a good thing to work on. Um, right. We really need to uh, work on this... Uh, on our finances. I'm not quite sure what we can do other than what we're already doing. Um, that said, we should probably yeet those iron mines to the top of the queue. Like, we want to uh, prioritize anything that significantly reduces our expenses. And lowering the cost of iron would do that. Where's the... Uh, British war seems to be going fine. Um, who is the free trade party? They're just industrialists. We'll just go for success chance on what we're already doing. I like the industrialists, but we don't particularly need them as much as an Eggman chance. Oh gosh, we have no <laughs> legitimacy. How did that happen? <laughs> I know I picked the option with the highest boost to legitimacy. Oh well. Um, well, looks like our uh, balance has improved quite a lot from the war ending, I suppose. That's uh, a relief. Uh, right. That's uh, That looks fine. Uh, we want those parties, I believe, so just go for that. And now we have a, a righteous government. Nice. Our success chance is quite good. Oh, and our bureaucracy is running a deficit, so we'll throw these to the top. Um, I'm sitting here thinking, like, weren't we building four things at the same time previously? Oh well, I I'm sure everything is fine. All right, we've got our laissez-faire. That means our balance is looking just that little bit better. Um, what else can we do here? I would love to help uh, 
these, but these require technologies we don't have. Uh, right of assembly would be good. That'll give us some more technology. Uh, of course, landowners are terrible as always. All right. What can we do to further boost our finances? Yes, maybe we can get some sort of improvements to our industry. Uh, a little boost some of the mines, that should help. And our balance is almost positive. And with those in realized taxes will be okay. All right, of course, uh, the government buildings were not utilizing the investment pool. So now that we're back to mines, we're actually positive. Nice, very nice. Uh, all right. What's next? We can... We could go for cultural exclusion. Um, I don't think that will actually change much. Like our multiculturalism, that'll do stuff for us. I don't think cultural exclusion is actually going to really help us in any way. Probably. It's, uh, let's see. Um, we have Brazilian. So, right now I believe as long as something is European heritage, it'll be accepted and it'll change to uh, as long as it's Lusophone, it'll be accepted. But uh, I think those are going to be mostly European anyway. Let's have a look. Brazilian, Lusophone, Galician, Portuguese, Brazilian, Afro-Brazilian. Uh, so that means we'll... Oh, that actually does make a difference. We're that's a uh, that's a large population. That's a very large population here. Um, maybe we should go for that. That that's actually a larger <laughs> population than our Brazilians. Okay, never mind. Let's uh, let's work on that. That should uh, make a lot of people happy. All right. Um. Maybe we should get rid of some consumption taxes. Uh, sugar isn't bringing much income. Coffee could be better too. And uh, that should hopefully uh, appease someone. I don't know. Let's see, we're still at minus 1.1. How much will we lose if we get rid of tobacco? Uh, we, we can afford that. That's fine. That is fine. All right. No more angry people because of that, at least. What's our speed here? 0 0.43. Uh, oops. We can get two more interests. No progress. Oh, we actually need to have an active interest nowadays to have progress. That wasn't a thing before. It's uh, good to know. Kind of, but we are we're getting progress here, even though we don't. Oh, we do have an interest there. Okay, I'm done. All right. Um, that's all fine. All right, we got our cultural exclusion. Can we do anything else that's fun? Um, Total separation of church and state. Will that actually help us in any way? I don't think so. I don't think that's going to help us much. Uh, guaranteed liberties. I like that. But that's going to really piss off some people. Uh, I don't think we want to mess with that currently. Since we already have some other groups that are very angry um 
Yeah, I think we'll just uh, wait for a bit. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's just speed things up until something happens again. Presumably the water tube boiler being invented will be our next thing happening. Alright, let's see. Um, well, egalitarianism was needed for some things we wanted, I think. Um, so, yeah. I think we'll just go for that. Do you have any interesting things going on here? We want a level 5 university, apparently. Um, level 3 motor industries. We should probably work on that level 3 motor industries. Uh, while we still can. I believe that gives some free technology. What else did we have here? Rail transportation is... Okay, so we need to get some rail transportation. We'll just activate that. That should be fine. Uh, oh, and of course we want to get our better pumps. That should boost the value of our railroads. Oof. Not that they need any boosting. Uh, what did we need? Level 5 university? Level 5 university, okay. That's not particularly in a rush. Still got seven years for that to be done. Um, right. Can we upgrade some other things? We can get some st better steel mills. And... Sure, let's get some more services. Why not? Alright. Branching out is done. And that means we can get progress on railway cars. And we do love ourselves some free technology. Can we get any new gold mines? No. We are still just having gold fields. Let's spread the word. Um, maybe we want to get some uh, extra colonies going on in Indonesia. Why not? The dream. Uh, sure. Get some more standard of living. Why not? French finished some colony. Good for them. Uh, how is our infamy looking? How? Oh, it's zero. Let's see. So. I'd like to, you know, keep calling or <coughs> puppeting our way through the Americas. Um, preferably without France getting upset about it. So I think we'll go for Costa Rica since France isn't on the list here. And if we go for Venezuela, France is there, so they will undoubtedly get upset again. We cannot go for Haiti. That would be like the one island we'd be inclined to go for. So yeah, let's we'll uh, keep puppeting our way northwards. And we've got the US facing us. That is not ideal. Um, and definitely means they're not just going to give up, I imagine. And we'll have to actually... Uh, work for it. Mexico also sided with them. That is also not ideal. Like one thing we've got going for us, of course, is that none of these countries have an actual border with... Well, 
you know me or Costa Rica. Um, we'll probably want to work on our navy at some point. Uh, we got our egalitarianism. Let's go for the labor movement so we can work on those children's rights. Uh, can we get anything new that would help us right now? Oh, well, we can go for the multiculturalism. Um, I mean, we might as well. That'll get us a lot of extra migration, I imagine. Speaking of migration, wasn't there some sort of relevant thing with that? Um, I think there was some journal where we can get more migration. It's, I'm sure we'll run into it at some point. Uh, let's see what have we got here. Uh, we'll go for the extra simulation, I think. Uh, oof. A lot of people here. We don't have to wargle. We have multiple states. Oh. I thought we occupied this, but I suppose we didn't. Well. It is looking fine. And we're almost back to a place where we are not owing money. It makes me happy. I, I like seeing that it expenses in the interest department going down. That's always great. Um, of course, what I really like is to get out of the British market so we don't have to uh, worry about the whole uh, it being a pain to get <laughs> any price 20% down <laughs> problem but I suppose that'll have to wait um, oh, got a bunch of things happening there uh, what I wanted to see was what's going on with the employment employment is fine it's the cash reserves that's an issue all right, um, we could try to help boost those cash reserves. Uh, that would involve boosting our steel production. Uh, let's just throw a bunch of those steel mills to the top. Um, let's get the almost done iron mines all the way to the top. And let those finish. And... Um, well, oh, gold has been depleted in West Australia. Maybe we can build some gold mines there. No, no, we cannot. Well, uh, what have we got here? Shenanigans in the Dutch East Indies. Uh, Netherlands, Dutch East Indies, hmm. Would be quite interesting if we can get uh, the Dutch East Indies independent and then take them over. That is really tempting. Of course, right now we can't really anything okay uh, Prussia is helping them that's uh, I don't want to get involved in anything too major if it's just the Netherlands sure but I don't want to end up fighting Prussians in Indonesia that'd just be a bit silly oh we are actually occupying something we were occupying something interesting that didn't last very long Um, all right, well, let's uh, 
bring that taxation level back down a little since uh, our finances are finally looking fine again. Um, let's see. All these things are not supported much. The only people in favor of this are the trade unions and they're marginalized. So I guess we're going to have to get more people into the trade unions at some point. Because I would like to be able to get more tax income. Goodness. This, uh oh dear. Well, that's not good. Although, I wonder, what if we try to naval invade them? Will that work out for us? Let's find out. Right, we have our multiculturalism. Um, can't get the child labor thing. Uh, let's see. Let's just leave it for now. How long does this take? 10 days. Let's not get involved in that. Um, I guess we might want to improve our military capabilities a bit because this is. Uh, bit of an embarrassment. Um, let's see. Let's just have uh, him defend since, well, technically we have what we need. Alright, more research, that is good. Increasing export uh, have engines in British market 50% pricier than their base price. So, what's the idea here? Do we just want to export them to the point where they're super expensive at home? Oh, that's going to be a problem as a part of the British market since we don't really have much control over how many are being produced. Yeah, that's that's not going to work out. Uh, oh, we also need to control our own market. So yeah, we're we are going to have to get out of the British market. When can we do that? 1857. So uh, we'll need to wait four more years before we can make any progress on any of these things. Um... Well, I guess that is just the way it is. Not much we can do about it. I'm a little bit worried about uh, how our country will look when that happens, because I don't know how we're doing in terms of self-sufficiency. And I guess we'll just uh, find out about at that point. And we have some isolated state regions. Let's see which places don't have ports. And which of these places are our colonies? That's a colony. That's a colony. That's a colony. That's a colony. We have unrealized taxes, even though we aren't good on bureaucracy. Interesting. Can we see why that's happening? Well, we can see that amongst all the places, it's happening here. Uh, ah, it's caused by turmoil. All right. Um, 
why is our infrastructure so garbage? And that's probably not helping the turmoil. Uh, this place also needs a little boost on the infrastructure and so does this place. All right. Speaking of infrastructure, let's uh, get rid of the road maintenance here since uh, we can just actually build railways now. And what's going on here? Uh, I'm not getting involved in that. Although, does that mean we can like... No, that was a mistake. Oh well, too late for that now. I was thinking we could maybe like just get one <laughs> state thingy. Uh, but now we're also colonizing in Mapuche. Doesn't really matter. Um, Oh, what does matter is that we have apparently been pushed out of our uh, naval invasion sites. That's not good. Actually, let's already get these guys up to the more modern production methods. Um, I'd like to get the barracks up as well, but that'll just cause this to collapse. Did I see something here? No. I guess uh, I just noticed this battle, but that's not relevant to us. Uh, yep, yeah, no, we are not going to get involved in any of that. Uh, that is fine. That is what we want. Um, let's get that skirmish infantry and let's also uh build one ammunition thing somewhere uh hmm i guess we'll build it in the niger delta since we have plenty of people there not ideal since we are not taxing that but it'll work out in the end i'm sure uh all right let's just I just start doing the play, and if anybody joins, we'll just be a bit defensive at the start. Uh, sure, let's have the industrialist stronger for now. That is fine. All right. So of course the U.S. is being. I'd say being rude again, but honestly, uh, we are the ones being rude, puppeting for. Really no good reason. Uh, oh, interesting. Can uh, maybe get a puppet on Honduras while we're here. Uh, oh, and the US has left. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, who is the Social Democratic Party? That's trade unions. Oh, we like them. Alright, uh, I, I guess we'll just uh, do battle. Uh, do we have any glass works? We don't. Actually, we should probably do something about that. Um, get some glass somewhere. South Cameroon. Sure, why not? Our market is lacking in glass and in hardwoods. Did I say glass? I meant lead. Um, let's see. How much hardwoods are is the market lacking? Quite a lot. How much normal wood is the market lacking? None at all. Well, let's not go too overboard then. Um, I'll get a few extra logging camps there. And a railway. Alright, how are we looking here? Um oh, that looks uh that looks interesting. I think that's what we're going to want. 
Yeah, let's just go for our top legitimacy option. That should give us the ability to get some good things. We can get our child labor reformed. We can get our taxation changed. Ooh, that's, that is what we wanted. Um, let's, let's start with the child labor reform. And then we'll also build some government administration so we can actually make use of the uh, increased education and of course we are going to want to get some more construction up because we've been running a positive balance for a while. How's this looking? Winning Noir, good good. So... Oh hello, Mexico, you you're not looking so great. Um, well, anyway, I think we'll just you know keep popping our way up. It seems to be working out quite well for us right now. Um, let's see, does this does any of this give us better barracks? The triage gives us first aid, but that requires opium, which we currently do have because of being in the British market. But as soon as we leave the British market, that's going to collapse. So we'll just get the field works. And I think after that, we'll go back to some other technologies, some non military technologies. What's going on here? Oh, we are uh, doing something against the Guarani. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's whatever. Arming the natives. France, why are you always bothering us, France? Why do you hate us, France? France. Uh, let's get those universities up to the top. What's going on here? That's the universities one. That is... Want a level five munitions plant? All right. Can we can we do that? Ah, uh, that that doesn't look very wise, does it? Munitions plant is already not looking too profitable. Uh, what else can we work on? Oh, that's a pro that's just a bit unfortunate. Can't. Uh, march our way over there now. We should probably have invaded them. Naval invaded them before that other war ended. Um, right. Can we get a level 3 Arts Academy? Then a little aside. Um, right, is this an your thing, the Brazil region. Basically, all of us is the Brazil region. Good. Because I want to expand our fleet. Right now, it's uh, not quite doing what we want from it. Um, let's just max that out. Okay. Uh, do we want to expand the shipyards, perhaps? Perhaps we do. I don't think that's a priority, but let's do it. I like seeing the uh, the Indian Territory occupation color. Alright, good job with your 14 offense, dude. Proud of you. Um... We got our philosophy department, and uh, we can get 3k on socialism or philosophical pragmatism. Um, are we already working on one of these by any chance? There's socialism, there's philosophical pragmatism. Uh, we are not, and I guess... Um, I don't know. I don't have strong feelings. Let's go with 
philosophical pragmatism. Alright, that war is looking fine. What's going on here, Britain? Why are you bullying the Ashanti? <laughs> we are neutral about this. Um, you know, it looks like our economy can definitely support some more construction sectors. Uh, let's go with five more. Gold has been depleted. Can we build more gold mines yet? No, nope. no, we cannot. All right, and we got Honduras. Um, if we can get Guatemala, and then we'll have a border with Mexico, and maybe we can uh, get Mexico after their current war with the U.S. That'd be juicy. So, let's do it. We can mobilize, go over there. Complete freedom of thought. Uh, ah, now we can get the new Colossus Journal. That's the one we were looking for. Let's see. We need to have no migration controls. Oof. Uh, that's not our current people who want that, is it? We'll want the industrialist spec in power for that one. Uh, what else can we go for? Oh, I can go for protectionism. That's too bad. I believe that should get us some more income out of our trade centers, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, this is looking quite good. Guatemala has backed down. Um, Ah, we're going to need to have an interest in Mexico. Going to need to remove a declared interest elsewhere to accomplish that, I suppose. Um, hmm. I think we can put a pass on our Indonesian colonies and uh, try to grab Mexico um, and I just notice our bureaucracy is negative uh, now we, we don't like the blue guys they're not very useful in general right Is our interest active yet? Oh, we got field works. Right. Um, sure, let's go for central archives. Ooh, a lot of No. We don't want to get involved in that. Uh, I think we'll just go ahead and uh, wrap up all the tier 2 techs here. Now what? South African Liberal Revolt. Whatever. I don't think the British need our help with it. Large numbers of Uyghur people. Oh, well, at least we're getting plenty of uh, interest in from people migrating. Uh, why can we not puppet yet? Oh, we have a truce with them for the next three years. Okay. Uh, if we have a truce, then we should probably just uh, do some other things in the meantime. Uh, I guess we can grab El Salvador. Don't really have many other options here. I 
mean, there's still Venezuela, but that probably involves France helping them. Yeah, I'd love to help uh, Mandinka, because heck the French, but where even is this? <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's happening. <laughs> Um. All right. Well, if we can't get Mexico anytime soon, we might as well uh, go back to colonizing. Uh. Well, we did want to weaken the armed forces for one of our things. So. Um. Let's start looking into annexing some of our puppets. We all have uh, two good relations to annex them. We do. Let's uh, let's begin with some of the small ones. Um, like Paraguay, Uruguay. Maybe we should grab Argent... Oh, we should grab one of those uh, countries with silver. Uh, Bolivia. Is there any other silver? I think I think it's Bolivia mainly that we we're going to want. I mean, and Peru. Um, or maybe can we get something fun on the Galapagos Islands? No. Nope. Right. Well, I guess uh, we'll begin damaging some relations. We can annex some people. Right now that looks like it's already bad, so why can't we annex them? Uruguay, politics, diplomatic play, annex, 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 where is it? Annex subject. Ha can't because our defensive pact with Great Britain. Okay, that's that's a little bit silly. But alright, um, I I, I don't know what to say about that. Uh, it's probably because we're in our is it in, because we're in our market. I don't know. I guess we'll just leave it for now. Um, what do we want to do instead then? Let me get some something somewhere else entirely. Maybe. Let's see. Probably can't puppet Egypt there. Yeah, they're an unrecognized major power. And I'm thinking like maybe we can get some uh, opium. That'd be useful having our own opium production. Let's let's do that. Let's go for the opium. Oh dear. When I, what have we got here? Patagonian Uprising. I didn't realize that. That's Well, it's too late for us to get involved now, so we'll just have to accept that. Um. Let's not start colonies in South America. As much as I want to just press every th thing that I, I can in terms of colonies, we can just let Argentina and Chile handle those. Um, did we get any new production methods from that? We did. Let's uh, enact them as long as they are profitable. And some of these things are indeed profitable. Realist art. Uh, let's have the capitalists run things. And... Let's get that extra bureaucracy and we can enable these. That will be about 120. And that'll make it about 300. That is fine. Um, we'll still have some extra. We can use that on boosting our law enforcement because we do have a journal for that. Um, right. Can 
any puppets yet? We can I think Russia and Austria Hungary may side with them. I mean that's that's not really a problem, I think. I'll just drop a save just in case. But I think that'll be fine. And I can kind of understand Russia. I mean this is in the Persian region, so that's in Russia's neighborhood. I don't know why Austria Hungary would care. But they they do care, apparently. Fascinating. Um let's put those naval bases up at the top because uh I just have a hunch that we might at some point need them. Oh, this isn't quite going how we want it to go. And we should still be fine, just on the basis that they're not going to help against a naval invasion. Revolutionary Nedged. Oh, it looks like France is almost cut off from this part of Africa, the Sahara. As long as Great Britain manages to get Adak before France reaches them. And I do like seeing France cut off from places because they're butts. Helping <laughs> independent countries in South America against imperialist Brazil. How dare they? Um, right, let's see, let's just grab organized sports to make sure we have everything. I'll make the tier 3 stuff cheaper and then we can go for our civil civilizing mission. I think after that we'll just go straight for the malaria prevention just to uh, make sure we can colonize as hard as possible. Can we, can we not have constant... I don't even know who these generals are. They're they're not my generals. I mean, I, I just want to interact with my commander. Game, <laughs> please. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Right. Oh, that's. Great. Uh, game. Let me let me interact. All right. There we go. Um. Let's do it by the book. I don't feel like pissing people off. Honestly, I don't. I don't think this is going to pass. Maybe we'll get lucky. Dangerous equipment. Oh, that's uh, that's a big malice. Um, I'm I'm sorry, guys, but that all just completely crippled <laughs> the economy there. I don't want people dying, but we also need people to do some work. Let's see. All right. Can we, uh, maybe, like, arrive there before everything is lost this time? That'd be fantastic. I mean, I suppose in the end, by just repeatedly landing there, we'll also win. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're not a big fan of the Conservative Party here. Oh, we can get more declared interest, can we? Interesting. Um, somehow our Persia one is gone, but that's fine since we already started our war. Hey, look, we once again need to do a naval invasion. Emperors will be done. Right. Uh, looks like Chile at least won their war. That's good. Let's get our civilizing mission. Um, 
might want to boost a couple of government administrations just to make sure that we'll have the bureaucracy to start doing our stuff when uh, that research is done. Finish some colonizing. Lovely. Uh, I'd love to incorporate that, but we're going to need to work on our bureaucracy for that. Which I suppose is a thing we wanted to do anyway. Um, yep. Let's see. What our current chance? 34.3%. Eh. Eh. Let's see. What would happen to our legitimacy if we had these? Oof. Okay, I guess we'll just leave it like this for now. It's not ideal, but... Okay. How is this? Consider the top thing when it's lower than what we currently have. I don't understand. I don't understand this game. I suppose it's probably fine. I can uh, get some more stuff done. Let's do that. This poor state. Nobody unemployed. You'd think it'd get more migrants. With nobody being unemployed here. Maybe you should just... Already st just start a naval invasion rather than having... Uh, these, this general try to... Redeploy over here. Like, I feel like... That's going to be more likely to be successful. Kalat. Those weren't just a dominion of the UK at the start of this war, were they? <laughs> the UK made them a dominion during this war. That's, um. Alright. Interesting. And it since was, I could swear. That's. That's weird. Um. Potentially profitable too. Uh, they they do have opium there. I suppose uh, we have a uh, next target. What am I not using a strategic interest on that anymore? All right, we did also want to get Mexico. Can we get Mexico? They are minor power. We should be able to get Mexico. Let's go for that first. First things first. Um, oh, our balance isn't looking too great right now. Hmm. Oh, well. Um, let's see. Uh, and Customs Union. That, that is what we wanted to do. So we're just out of it now. Okay, great. Um, input good shortages, all the everythings. Let's see which ones we can work on. Clippers. We need to produce about 400 clippers. We're producing like 160. Um, so that would require us to produce or have like 20 shipyards. Let's, um, let's start with making 10 more, I guess. Um, that place can't support more shipyards. Congratulations, Togo. You are now our new shipyards place. Uh, how are we looking on infrastructure there? We are going to need an extra railway. What else do we need? Silk. Can we build silk farms, thingies? Um, we can't. Time to import some silk. How much silk do we need? Okay, so we should be fine with uh, just one import route. 
Uh, silver. Can we build silver? We can get our own silver mines. Four more should do the trick. We need coal. Oh, goodness. That's... Um, all right. That's a lot of coal we're lacking. How much coal does one coal mine produce? 60. Uh, that's like 30 coal mines we're lacking. All right. Let's build 20 in Sao Paulo and 10 in Hokkaido. Uh, how is our infrastructure looking there? Could be better, could be better. And over there, I want to add one more railway. That is looking mighty awkward. Um, and we are lacking explosives. Maybe we should just import some for now and then put the chemical plant uh, at the end of the queue in the Niger Delta. Sure, why not? Oh, we got our expanding our market done. And um, now we wait for all of that to finish construction. Let's see. Uh, right. We can begin our make puppet on Mexico. Austria Hungary would help them for whatever reason. Um, okay, I guess abandon plan Mexico because I don't want to fight Austria Hungary. They have a lot of troops. Uh, what else can we do? Apparently can declare quite a few extra interests, so we might as well do that. Um, where else would we want an interest? Oh, Arabia is tempting. Let's do that. Alright. Um... Uh, we should probably export some goods, come to think of it. Now that we're out of the British market, we probably are overproducing some things significantly. Uh, right. Just uh, export, export, exports. Goodness. Why are we exporting so much of some of these things? Or rather, why are we producing, overproducing so much of these things? I know the lead, that's my own doing, but. Uh, right, we did need iron for this, so let's not export that. Speaking of which, um, right, we, we also need to work on our coal. And on our steel. So we're just going to set them to protect domestic supply just to make sure that uh, we're not ruining our work towards this. Um, balance isn't looking any better. Britain wants a trade agreement. That's fine. We're fine with a trade agreement. Um, hmm, that's certainly interesting. Can we puppet Haiti? France will, of course, join them, but we can do the same thing we did with Macron over in Haiti, which is repeatedly naval invading them. Um, we're just going to drop a save just in case, but I think this will be fine. We'll puppet Haiti, and if we're lucky. And even claim some of France. 
not happy with how this is looking. Um, let's see, we're spending a lot on paper. Paper is considered an expensive good. Um, we should probably do something about that. Let's um, let's get five extra paper mills. Now, oh, and we are running a shortage on our bureaucracy. That is a priority because that cuts directly into our taxes. Oh, well, we got Haiti for free. That's nice. Um, that means we can get a extra interest. Radical Bolivia started a stamp out revolution diplomat to play against us. Um, interesting. Now oh, we can annex things now. Now that we're no longer in Britain's union. Um, I think we might want to do that, but maybe Uruguay should not be our priority. Um, I mean, on the other hand, gotta start somewhere. I'd like to start on Bolivia, but um, they're having an episode right now, it seems. So, Uruguay it is, the realist movement. Uh, can we get our camera? We can get camera technology. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, Uruguay has backed down. Let's incorporate them. And um, let's start annexing Paraguay. Police brutality. We cannot tolerate that behavior. That will help us a bit with our deficit as well. That's a win-win. And uh, we really need to get that government bureaucracy in order. Um, oh, right. Taxes. That should help us with our current problem. And we also need to start getting our troops ready by the looks of it. Let's see, revolution, that is going to 66. So for now, that is not a concern. Uh, ha hello, Great Britain. Why are you supporting Paraguay? That is, I thought we were friends. I thought we were friends, Great Britain. Well, can we add a war goal? We can. Maybe, 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 maybe we want to do that. Maybe we are thinking of British Guiana? How's our if me looking? 10.5. British Guiana. Would cost 12.4. Hmm. Yes. Yes. I think we do want to have British Guiana. You're going to be making this difficult for us, Britain. Then we'll make it difficult for you too. Um. All right. Bolivia situation is looking fine. Let's uh, move them over to Paraguay. see uh, so we have Britain wants nothing they're just helping out all right Let's see that is fine that is fine that is not fine. Alright, we should uh, promote this guy. So that he can actually make use of the extra ships. Uh, armed forces are currently happy, so... We'll 
sacrifice some of that happiness for the taxes. Right. We've got our Paraguay. Let's start uh, occupying whatever random British place we can find. Oh, well, that's not ideal. Um, Maybe we should do something about that. Mm. Hmm. I guess uh, after our current naval invasion, we'll naval invade over there, and hopefully it'll get the British to stop pushing in the north. Right. Um, let's I'm not even going to finish occupying that for now. We we want to relieve our good Guatemalan friends. Ah, just realized it would have been nice to get this too, but on the other hand, we don't want to build up too much infamy yet. We are n we are a great power, but we're not that powerful militarily. Let's see. This is looking fine. We got our front. suppose if we end up in a war with Great Britain again, we should probably try to grab British Guatemala so that they don't have a land border anymore. And well, we got our proportional taxation. What else do we want? Uh, right, we wanted to guarantee the liberties. And we should go for that now. Uh, oh, we can also go for universal suffrage. That's might help. Um, on the other hand, we did want to have happy industrialists because um, we want to get the uh, migration thingy. Alright. Let's see. Right, so I'm moving over there. That is fine. We'll just uh, continue fighting the British, I guess. Uh, looks like whoever was there moved. Where did you go, Pedro? Or rather, where are you going? You are going there. Um, I, I guess that's fine. I don't think there's any specific place where we need him more urgently. Devout scandal. Um, and I don't think we need the uh, Catholics to be uh, popular. Um, let's see, what are we looking at? We have sulfur ammunition and explosive shortages still. Are you working on any of those? Let's boost that sulfur. Uh, let's boost the explosive. Uh, ammunition. Let's see. Uh, that's probably just because of the lacking explosives. So, fixing explosives should fix the ammunition. Uh, how many explosives do we need? I think we need a lot more than eight. I think uh, the issue is that our mines are are not. We are, we are not using nitroglycerin yet. Um, well, uh, 
let's have a look at our production methods see if we can improve efficiency on anything now that we're in this menu anyway um, <laughs> That's probably fine. Oh, Pedro is having. Did, I, did we lose a general again? Uh, let's see. We we do not want a land owner, so we are just going to. Uh, yeah, this man. Grassroots support for law. Wonderful. Let's see. Well, that's uh, nowhere close to accepting it yet. Definitely still need more paper. Are we building more paper? We are not. Oh, but we can change our production methods. Let's do it. And now we are just upset about expensive clippers and wood. That's a new one. Uh, da -da -da, logging cams. Let's um, build 10 there. Um, that place has people, so let's build 10 there. And that's going to need another railway. How much does the logging camp need? Is it two? One infrastructure, okay. That's sh one railway should be fine then. And another railway there. Um, all right, maybe we should boost our taxes a bit, uh, maybe also our add another consumption tax. Uh, we could go with tobacco and coffee or with services. Let's, uh, let's go with tobacco and coffee. I think services are typically something that already gets used less than produced, so don't want to hurt the productivity even further. All right, that's positive again. Uh, what else have we got going on? Where's Pedro? Pedro, where have you gone? You are at the South Island front or moving to it. Okay, well, that's fine. That is perfectly fine, my man. All right, uh, institutions. Where thing we want to work on? Why can I not select this? 74, now it says 66, whatever. Um, right, let's get those government administrations up to the well, not quite top, but bring them a little bit up. Um, I'll probably want to get some more soon. So we're just going to add those 25 because I want to start integrating some stuff here. I think that will be good for us since we've built some factories there. We want to actually be able to get the taxes from that. Um, right, I think we pretty much have everything here that we want right now. Like universal suffrage is something that I do at some point want, but I think we're going to uh, try to use the industrialist to get uh, the no migration controls first. Um, Where's Pedro now? He's been moving to the Sakhal in front. Let's 
just moving all over the place. In the meantime, our balance is looking better again. Um, right, we wanted to export our uh, engines. That doesn't seem like a terrible idea or anything. How many engines are we going to need to export to make this thing happy? Probably like a um, 100 or something. So, uh, 92, 84, 74, 64, 32. Well, that's a disaster for our bureaucracy. Um, right, let's throw a few more of those to the top. Probably let the almost finished ones be done first, though. Right. What do we have going on here? So, I don't think we particularly care about this. Russia, why are you hurting relations? with me I improve I can uh, South Africa interesting apparently South Africa is no longer part of Great Britain uh, right we have increased our export value let's um, immediately get rid of um, All of these inactive things. Uh, da -da -da -da. And the unproductive things. Yep. Alright. Um, so now we want to have cheap iron coal and steel. That's stuff we can work on. Uh, we also, of course, want to start incorporating some of these places. Uh, let's do that. Well, yeah, there's no progress here. Game, why, why is this still on the list? Well, I don't want to remove the thing we have, but it does have me a little bit confused. Do we have the entire Niger Delta? Cool. Um, yeah, we're go. We're just gonna go for it. Uh, do we have any? We do have factories here, but we're also still colonizing, so can't do anything about that. Um, right, and we are once again at peace. Um, how are we looking on our infamy? Quite fine. Uh, right, we of course want to actually get Brazilian Guiana incorporated, and we also want to do think we are about that railway. Mm. Ooh, gold mines. Uh, actually, gold mines are important, so we'll put those at the top. Uh, right, what do we want to do? How are sorry of me looking? It is tempting to try to go for Venezuela. Um, something tells me that it's going to get France involved, but... Uh, it did go fine against France last time, so, you know, maybe, maybe we'll, we can give Venezuela another try. Uh, if we manage it, then, you know, we'll have almost all of South America. They're uh, missing Dutch and French Guiana, and uh, depending on how we want to call the border here, I guess the Mosquito Kingdom... Um, right, as expected, France is getting involved. Um, we're going to have to do something about that, of course. Um, let's see. I 
thing. Well, well let's let's add French war reparations, and then we'll still have some maneuvers. Uh, it's going to bring us a bit higher on infamy than I would like, but let's try to grab French Guiana. Because it would be really nice to no longer have that land border with them. Um, we got South Island. Let's see how our uh, colonization speed is. It's 0 0.6. That's fine. Can't afford the 112. Well, that's gone up a little bit. I suppose that's a consequence of the whole... Um, incorporating that we've been doing. Right. Uh, well, okay, the France part went quite rapidly there. That's nice. And let's change our government to allow for the open borders. We'll radicalize the petite bourgeoisie, but we don't really care about them. Uh, right, so what we do care about is that the game keeps trying to stop me from doing what I need to do. And we are going to raid some convoys. And uh, can we... Alright, we can finally improve our colonial affairs. Uh, how is our interests looking? Oh, we can actually get a new one right as I say that. And we can also build more gold mines. Nice. Gold mines depleted. I don't want extra radicals, so whatever. Um, sure, sure, sure. I can even get more gold mines now. Lovely. All right. Looking good, looking good. Uh, we have no input shortages anymore. Very nice. Uh, expensive military goods. Our artillery is expensive. We need 60 more artillery. Can we do something about that? Uh, we also need more small arms. So let's see. 16.6 .6 more small arms. Yeah, let's go for the smooth bores. Let's see how is it looking now. Just give me the details. So like 25 and like 50 more. Um, all right, so we'll just build two extra arms industries. I probably shouldn't have made them skip the queue, but it's fine. And all right, we've got Venezuela, and um, I guess we'll just actually our troops have gone somewhere. Where are they going? Apparently, you're they're, they're going to Africa. All right, so we're just going to start naval invading random places again. Um, right, this will piss off the rural folk. They are already angry, so what does not matter, I guess? Um, let's have a look at our innovation. We can definitely use some more universities. We are getting three per university. And that means we need uh, 30, 28 total to max that out. 
Uh, no, that's 12 extra universities. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's 12. Also, hello, Vida. <laughs> Finally a viewer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I see you are enjoying the boop noises from yourself. Um, I don't know why Discord is, like, not properly doing the stream thing anymore for me. It's even saying streamer mode is enabled, stay safe, friend. And then it's like, <laughs> but we're not doing the streamer thing anymore. Don't know what's up with that. Um, I'm gonna have a look at the, this thing. Streamer mode. Automatically enable, yes. Ah! For some reason, disable sounds isn't active anymore. Uh, as, as far as I can see, it's also not like making my thingy purple on Discord, so it's, it's a little bit weird. Um, right. Uh, the industrialists are happy, so we can afford to make them a little bit less happy. Uh, France is really not willing to uh, make that piece. Um, oh, we're just gonna keep sending Custodio de Noronha around. Also, how is my agriculture inefficient? What What is this? What are these circles that I supposedly need to have? Tell me about my agriculture. It's m are my bananas not good enough for you? <laughs> uh, well, can't make more gold mines. Um, da -da 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 -da. Anything interesting here? Can we do something with that arms industry? I think we were already doing something with the arms industry. Uh, what else do we have going on here? Central archives. Standardized filing. Do we not have standardized filing? We do. It's probably because we have a bunch in construction. Um, right. Maybe we should work on that iron, coal, and steel. Um, let's just build like 10 extra steel mills. Uh, let's see. Let's go with 8 there and 2 there. What, what is this place? It needs it needs more railways. It has a shortage of engines. That's not good. Um, we have a severe shortage of engines. We get 40 engines per thing. Let's build four more motor industries. Our motor industries place is um, out of workers. Okay, um, let's go with... Um, well, the Niger Delta just has infinite workers apparently, so I guess we'll just throw more factories there. Uh, looks like our fleet is done doing what it was doing, so it can just go ahead and bring Custodio over to another place. And we have foreign faiths, that's fine. All right. Um, da -da 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 -dum. How is our how are our iron and coal looking? Iron not quite there. Coal definitely not there. I guess we'll need more of them. Uh, we are building more coal. Let's see. Um, let's get. I guess like six more iron mines that should bring us in the right direction. Uh, that's going to need an ex. Well, it's not necessarily going to need an extra railway. We're going to need to have our railway stop having an input shortage on engines. Um. Right. And we have a revolutionary Costa Rica. I guess we'll just... Uh, can we do like one more naval invasion? And I think... 
once we have won the war against France, I'm going to take a break. And then next time we can beat up some revolutionaries. Uh, what's going on here? Rubber. Nice. Alright. We have won the war. We have our French Guiana. Which means we can get more gold mines. That's always very welcome. And... Um, yeah. Got everything in the mainland South America except for Dutch Guiana. Alright, well, that has been quite productive. Thank you for watching and uh, see you whenever I decide to stream again. Bye!